Hey everybody, so today we're going to check out the Arthur Wright & Sons Etric, or Etric, I'm not quite sure how to say that, but I'm pretty sure it's Etric. And um, this is a really special gift from a friend, uh, Mark, MBEDC. Fantastic channel, uh, a lot of EDC stuff, obviously, by the name. So, um, But he also has knives, please go check him out. Uh, really great guy, really great channel. I'll leave a link down below, but uh, let's get to it. So, I'll get the ruler ready. You have these really, really beautiful rosewood uh, covers on this one. Let me get the focus. And it's their budget, their budget cover material, but it's still it's beautiful. And they do such a good job. You have brass pins, and they're nearly flush on this one. I'm kind of surprised actually. You can barely feel it, but you can feel it just a slight bit right here. Um, still fantastic, fantastic fit and finish. Brass liners, nickel silver bolster, pinched bolster. And a, the tiniest bit of light comes through right here. And it's just a little bit of stepping, but you can barely see anything through it. So, fantastic knife. And when I first got this, it was a straight up 11 pole. It was, it was a 11 out of 10. I, I couldn't get it open. Um, Easily, anyways. Uh, I, I oiled it up a little bit, worked it, and it was it became a lot easier. Now it's more like an eight. And this one is like an eight. That's straight up eight for me. Really beautiful uh, C70 carbon steel blade. It's a satin finish, and it's a you know worn cliff shape. Tank stamp for you right there. A right Sheffield, England. Nothing on the other side. Here you have a, a bit of a sharpening choil there. Um, really interesting design. When you see it, you think the handle's backwards. And a lot of people tell me that. Um, and actually, if you're... Um, um, who was it? The Knife Raven. He said, if you're whittling, this is really great for whittling. Um, but th this was designed for a reason. This is a small game... Um, yeah, a, a gut knife. Or Skinner. And it makes a lot of sense though. So when you hold it like this, or like this, you have a lot of control where you can fix that blade. That blade stays right there when you push down. You want those really precision, precision cuts when you're skinning an animal. Uh, versus if you have, if the handle is that way, when you push down, it, the blade kind of wobbles up and down. So this pushes the back of the, of the knife right here into your palm. And it kind of secures it so it's really it's it, it's secure it's great for carving tasks um so you can just get in there like that do a nice clean cut um first like like i said when you're doing this it's going to be you're going to go up and down so it's, yeah this is a lot more finer control i guess that's a better way to put it and uh, that was the first cut i made with it so it's fairly sharp i got some paper we'll try and see um how sharp it is not sharp. <laughs> so it's a little sharp, but not, not terribly sharp. It will cut, but yeah, it needs to be sharpened. And uh, being C70, it should not be hard to sharpen. But a lot of, uh, um, a lot of great videos from Slick Slicer and Knife Raven. Uh, I'll link down below their channels too. Go check them out. They have a lot more information on this. Like this was, uh, a design by uh, a Lord of Warren, Warren, Ward, <laughs> Lord of Warncliffe, and this is a Warncliffe blade, but this isn't a Warncliffe knife. And not all Etrix or whatever, they, they aren't all Warncliffe blades. So, very cool, and uh, heck of a design. This is fantastic. This must be one of the newer ones. I love this one a lot. And I think you can get them at Jameson Company for about 30 bucks. Or starting at 30 bucks. Obviously, you get the nicer ones, the nicer handles. Going up like 10 bucks every time or something like that. You can get, get the, I think you can find these in Stag. But um, Ebony Wood, Olive Wood. And if you're in the UK, you can get these for about 30 pounds. But uh, let's check out the measurements real quick. Just so you know. So overall length is looks like six and a quarter. Handle length is 
probably like three, just under, just under four inches. Overall blade length, a little over two and a half, or almost two and a half, I guess. I can't measure. And then the cutting length, I think what they say is like 2.3 or something like that. This is right at two inches on mine. Um, it does have a longer handle that kind of makes makes it easier to use for a uh, game. I still have a small knife. This is a UK legal for sure. And it's probably mostly world legal. Just a really fantastic knife. Um, thanks again to Mark. That was an awesome gift. I couldn't believe it. That was, that was killer pull on that one. But really nice walk and talk. Really, really high quality for a pretty low price for 30 bucks. Um, th these, I think these knock case knives out of the water. Like 100%. But that's it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please go check out all those channels. They're really great guys. Um, if you buy one, actually, I'll, I'll put a link down below to James and Company. He has a lot of UK knives. Um, almost like a lot of them are like better prices than the, than our, um, than the people in UK get. So <laughs> totally worth it. I'm not affiliated with him, but if you do buy one from him, just mention my channel. Maybe he'll send me something, but if not, that's fine. Go check them out and pick up one of these or one of their Barlows or ooh, get that get the Barlow and Stag. Fantastic knife. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that fun stuff.